Okay, so the, let's say we are giving the problem a steel rod of cross sectional area 600 mm square and washer tube of cross sectional area 1000 mm square are firmly attached at the ends to form a compound bar. Question says determine the stress in the steel and the copper valve when the temperature of the uh, valve is raised by 80 degrees Celsius and an axial tensile load of 60 kg is applied. Take young students of steel as 200 kg and young students of copper as 100 kg. Okay, so first of all, we have uh, let's call this can be the uh, we can call this to be the steel bar and then this can be the compound uh, the copper. So this is steel and this is the copper. So the two of them are really from what is called a compound bar. So they are really joined together. Let's say at this point, and they carry an axial loop of a tensile loop of 60 kilo So the F loop of 60 kilo is carried. So this can be likened to the diagram. Alright, so already the area of the copper was already given and the area of steel was also given. So let's start the area of steel. In the first step, on the first approach, always find out the area. That's the first approach. Get the area of the two uh, components that makes up the bar. In this case, we have copper and steel. So area of steel was given. Area of steel, AX, is given as um, 600 mm square, a steel rod of cross-sectional area. So 600 millimeter square, but the unit of area is actually meter square. So to convert 600 millimeter square to meter square, simply divide by 10 raised to power 6. That's divide by 1 million. So divide this value by 10 raised to power 6. It will give you that simply 600 divided by 10 to the power of 6. This will give us a meter square. So that means area of steel is equal to. 600 divided by that's about 6 times 10 to the power of minus 4 is confirmed in the meter square. That is the area of steel, 6 times 10 to the power of minus 4. Okay, meanwhile, area of copper also, is it correct? Yes. Okay, area of copper was also given AC and it was given as 1000 millimeter square. So 1000 millimeter. Square as usual, compare this to meter square, you have to divide by 10 raised to the power 6 to convert to meter square. So, area of the copper is simply uh, 1 by 10 to the power of minus 10 in meter square. This compound is as well. Okay, so that's the first step. The first step is to find out the area of the two. Components or two materials that makes up the compound bar. After that, the next thing to do is to employ the compatibility equation. So we can employ the compatibility equation. From compatibility equation, okay, we know that the strain of the steel bar was equal to the strain of the copper rod. The two strain was equal from compatibility equation. But recall, we said that strain itself is simply stress all over young students. So if strain is stress over young students, it is now that the strain of the steel bar is simply going to be stress of the steel bar all over young students of the steel bar. And that is what the, the stress of the copper or all over young students of the copper. Okay, and this is so. In the equation, we are given that stress of the steel, so the young students of steel is 200 times per meter square. While young students of copper is 100. So we are simply going to have that stress of steel all over. In place of young students of steel, we have 200 by 10 to the power of 9. Meaning that means 10 to the power of 9. And that is equal to stress of copper all over. The young students of copper is given as 100 by 10 to the power of 9. Okay, so at this point, let's make stress of steel subject to the formula. So simply cross multiply this with this side. So this multiplies by stress of copper. So that simply means that our stress of steel is now 200 multiplied by stress of copper or simply stress of copper all over 100 by 10 uh, sorry 200 by 10 to the power of 9 stress of copper okay all over 100 by 10
10 to the power of 9. So notice that 200 by 10 to the power of 9 divided by 100 by 10 to the power of 9 will still give us 2. So that means that the stress of steel is actually 2 times the stress of copper. So you can call this equation 1. You can call that equation 1. Okay. So the first step is to obtain areas. After obtaining the area of the components, the next step is to apply the compatibility equation and obtain the stress of the steel, which we've done. Call this equation one. The next step is to apply the load equation, which is the final step. So from the load equation, from the load equation, I said that the load carried by the compound bar simply is simply the load, sum of the load carried by the individual material that make up the compound bar. And the material that makes up the compound bar is simply copper and steel. So the load is simply the load of copper plus load of steel. Okay, but you know that stress is there. You know that stress is simply load all the material. So which means that load is simply stress times area. If stress is simply load over area, then load is simply stress times area. Therefore, the load carried is simply in place of copper will be load stress of copper times area of copper. Plus in place of C, it will be stress of C times area of C. So you have this. The load carried by the compound bar was given as 60 kilometers. So you have 60 by 10 to the power 3 kilometers. To the power three. <coughs> okay? Times stress of copper, which is sigma C, times area of copper. The area of copper was given as 1 by 10 to the power minus 3 plus 1. So in place of A of copper, we have 1 by 10 to the power of minus 3. Plus, next is the load of stress of steel. But recall, stress of steel from equation 1. Okay, let's put it down. Okay, from equation 1, let's just put it down. Stress of steel times area of steel. Area of steel was given as uh, 6 by 10 to the power minus 4. Okay, so we have times 6 by 10 the power of minus 4. Now, what we call from 1, we have that stress of C is actually 2 times stress of copper from equation 1. Uh, okay, stress of C is twice stress of copper. So, in place of this stress of C, we will simply replace it with stress of copper, 2 times stress of copper. So, we have that 60 by 10 to the power of 3 is now equal to Sigma C times this is 1 by 10 to the power of minus 3 sigma C plus in place of stress of C that sigma X we simply put 2 sigma C times 6 by 10 to the power of minus 4. So 60 by 10 to the power of 3 is 1 by 10 to the power of minus 3 sigma C plus so give me 2 by 10 exponential minus 4. That's 1.2 by 10 exponential minus 3. 1.2 by 10 exponential minus 3. Check. 2 1.2 by 10 to the power of minus 3 sigma c. So at this point, you can add this to 1 exponential minus 3 plus 1.2 exponential minus 3. That will give us 2.2 exponential minus 3. Please confirm. Yes. Okay, so 60 by 10 to the power of 3 is 2.2. By 10 is for minus 3 sigma c. So from here we can find sigma c. Simply the Bible says that 2.2 is the minus 3. We have the sigma c is equal to 60 by 10 to the power of 3 divides 2.2 by 10 to the power of minus 3. So the stress can be the power of sigma c. So what we have. Sigma C two seven 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 Megamesis per meter squared. And so put it answer like this. Okay? Also from equation 1, we said sigma 
x is actually two times sigma c. So stress reduced in steel is twice less in copper. So that's something we like that sigma x is in the two times. Let's choose two seven point two seven mega meters per meter square. So the sigma c stress reduced in steel was the value. So those are the stresses induced in the steel bar and the copper bar. Any other check? Check. Take these other stresses. 